everybody, welcome back to the channel. It has been officially one week since I unboxed the new AirPods Pro. And I got a lot to say. First off, design. I thought these things were ugly as soon as I saw them come out from Apple on October 28th, I believe. But I looked into them a little more and I actually thought they were pretty good looking. Now, this is the original AirPods, these are the AirPods Pro. There's obviously a significant size difference with case. Now, I don't really mind it, especially for something with better sound, but I'll get to that in a minute. These are the original AirPods, first generation. Now, I didn't think these were that bad. I thought these were awesome when they first came out, especially wireless. Now, wireless plays a big part with both AirPods. With the original AirPods, there is a lot longer stem. New AirPods Pro has a shorter stem, which I actually don't mind, because nobody thinks of the memes anymore when they have a longer stem. Now people think they look like hair dryers, which I can kind of see, but it doesn't matter to me. They sound great. Now, the sound. The sound in these things, Originally, as soon as I took them out of the box, they sounded louder and better. Now, I thought the AirPods original thought sounded great too, but AirPods Pro sound a lot better and they are a lot louder. Now, they also have a transparency feature and a noise cancellation feature. I use noise cancellation not that often, but especially in school when you don't want to hear people talk, Noise cancellation works great. When you put them in your ears and you turn noise cancellation on, it feels like it fills your ears so you cannot hear anybody. And they also have transparency so you can actually listen to your music and hear people. Now, when I had transparency on, considering the AirPods Pro are a little louder now, I felt like I had to turn down the volume just a little bit more just so I could hear somebody. Especially even if they were close to me. But I don't really think that's an issue. Now, I also switched to the smaller ear tips that came with the AirPods Pro because the mediums were actually falling out of my ears. But as soon as I took them out of the box, I thought they were a perfect fit. They weren't really a perfect fit. I switched to the smaller ones and they still started to fall out of my ears. But it's okay because the, when I first got the original AirPods, they started to fall out too. But I don't really mind it. That's not something that's going to keep me from buying AirPods Pro. That's not something that's going to keep me from buying any wireless earphone in the future. Now, the battery. The battery is said to be the same as the original AirPods, about 5 hours of listening time, and about, I believe, 15 seconds in the charger is like 30 minutes to an hour of listening time. Now, even with the original AirPods, I never actually listened to them for the full five hours that people say, because I can't listen to music for five hours. At the most, maybe two to three hours. Now, even noise cancellation, even having noise cancellation on with the AirPods Pro, is said to be about four and a half hours of listening time. Instead of the full five hours, but if something's canceling people around you, I would think, that's worth it, especially about four and a half hours of listening time. Now, in the future, I will actually be getting a carbon fiber slick wrap. If you haven't heard of slick wrap, slick wrap and Deep Brand both are companies that make wraps for your AirPods or any other product that you have, and it makes them look really, really good. Now, I'm not a fan of white, so I ordered a black slick wrap carbon fiber that will be coming in the mail soon. I will be putting it on my AirPods and tweeting about that, so if you want to see that, follow my Twitter down below, I'll link that down below, and I think they're going to look great. Overall, AirPods Pro, even at the $250 price range, at the price, I think it's very, very well worth it. Now, these things, during Black Friday especially, are going to dominate the market, especially for Bluetooth earphones. That sound great, noise cancellation, transparency. These things are awesome. And I believe that's been it. That's all for my review. If anybody wants to leave a like and comment down below. If you also want to see behind the scenes of my life, please follow my social media. 
And I also do Twitch streams during the weekend when I can. College really takes up a lot of my time, but it's okay. I'll see everybody in the next video, and thank you for watching.